Hey guys, Conquer here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to speedrun Pajama Sam in There's No Need to Hide When It's Dark Outside. So the first thing that you guys need to know is that you can actually skip the animations and the cutscenes. So if you see, I go to the trash here, I click on the trash, it'll show him digging through, you know, all animated and stuff. But if you actually hit escape, it cancels it out. So for instance, we hit the scarf, hit the escape button, cancels out, we get the item. It does that for everything. So... You click, hit escape, you're going to be doing that a lot through the run, so just get the hang of that, you know, clicking and hitting escape right after. That's for grabbing items. For transitioning through cutscenes, you want to hit escape twice, so one, two. Because whenever you transition, it shows two animations. One, two. And you're going to get used to that. One, two. One, two. Yeah, so now that we've covered that, let's cover actually getting a, a save file. So for getting a save file, you want to make sure to save your game before you try and get the file. So for instance, I just hit S. That, what that does is bring up the save game. Um, you can title it whatever you want. I usually title mine any percent because that's the category that I, I run. Then you hit enter. And then once you have that file, you could go through and check everything and make sure everything's good. Um, and then if it's not good, hit F8, hit yes. And then I do the same thing, save the game and just hope I get better luck. It's very simple for this game because you can't get a lot of different combinations. So you'll probably get it within the first five tries. So for getting a save file, you wanna look for a few things. First off, you wanna make sure that this pathway here is open and this other side is accessible. If it's not accessible, you don't have a good save file. Just make sure this part is accessible to go through. Also, just a heads up, this carrot is always here. It's never not here, so no matter what file you have, it's always going to be here. Just keep that in mind. So if we go down to the bottom of the waterfall here, we'll actually see that there's a lunchbox here. You want to make sure the lunchbox is here. If it's not here, then it's behind the area I just showed you, which is inaccessible. So come down here and make sure the lunchbox is at the bottom of the waterfall. Next thing you want to look for is inside the um, brain tickler, there's going to be some doors. So, we go inside the brain tickler. The second room, there's a clock here sometimes. He has a mustache. He's an old guy. Make sure he's not here. If he's here, you don't have a good save file. Lastly, if there are any boards in the mine right here next to the washing machine and dryer, this is also a bad save. Make sure that it's just plain wall. No boards, no nails, no nothing. And that about covers it for save files. So, make sure what I pointed out, you know, make sure everything's everything checks up. Once you have everything checked up, once you have your save file, hit L, and open the one that you have your save file on with all the good stuff. Timing starts on the first click of the mouse. So for instance, I hit the scarf, timing starts. Now for items in the first room, the scarf, the lunchbox, and the flashlight, they could be in different spots. They could be in the trash, under the bed, behind the scarf, under the carpet, in these two drawers. That's all the locations for them. Once you have those, go through this door. Make sure to hit escape twice through transitioning. Twice, I'm hitting it twice. Um, for this, just hit it, escape once. Very simple. Remember, for items, anything except tr screen transitions is just one escape hit. Two, and then go ahead and grab this. That's one, by the way, a cutscene. Um, next thing we're going to go to are the boat docks. Now that you have this great piece of wood, it replaces the rope, so that's where the rope went. Drop the wood right here. You can also drop it here. Which makes it easier to transition here, but I've always dropped it here, and then I go up and meal after that. So you drop it here. Um, you can get in the boat, then go, or you can be fast and just go. So, for instance, I'm not in the boat, but if you hit the up arrow, you're automatically out. So make sure to hit the up arrow there. You don't want it to be like this, you want it to be like that. Next, go to, you know, straight up. Now for this, I this killed a lot of my runs learning the game. I hit escape twice here, and that cancels it out. Just hit it once. If you hit it twice, it cancels it out. Just hit it once. Remember, items just once, cutscenes just once, transitions you have to hit escape twice. Next, go here, go here, go here. Remember, this, this pathway is open with your save file, so that should be good. Grab this carrot. That's just one escape, by the way, grabbing items. And then you don't have to put the log back on, you could just go back. So that saves some, that saves another, um, you know, transition, I guess. Um, next, go left twice. Don't go up this bridge. Go to the far left twice. You'll be at this little shack here. Grab the oil, and while it's still up here, whenever you grab items, there'll be... Oh, Sam, don't talk. 
whenever you grab items, it'll be displayed in your hotbar for like a second or two. So once you grab the oil, it'll be right here already up. Grab it, oil the door. This was actually uh, the most recent discovery in this game. It actually saves about a second, so just make sure to do that. Grab the oil, oil the door immediately, and then we're going to start heading back to the hub area. This is kind of the hub area. It leads to the boat, boat dock, the mines, and Darkness's house. So after you have the carrot and the oil, go to the mines, and don't bother interacting with chain. Just immediately grab the oil, oil them up, and another thing. Don't get inside chain and go. It's the same with auto. Don't get inside them and go. Just hit the arrow to go right. This is a um, cutscene, so just escape once. Twice, though, because, you know, you're transitioning. Twice. Um, so, you have to hit this twice, but fun fact, you can actually get the number just by hitting it once, but you have a 25% chance of entering it later in the brain tickler. I'll explain that to when we get there. So just make sure you go to it twice, make sure you hit it twice so you can actually see the number for a split second. So, it's, mine's 844. As you run the game and do more attempts, you'll remember each different number, and um, once you see them, you'll just immediately know, okay, cool, that number, because they're all predetermined until you reach this boiler room. So once you have your number 844, start going back the way you came. Do not go left. It might be tempting, just go back the way you came. A lot of people make that mistake to go left. Don't do that. Once you're at the hub area, again, go to Darkness's house, and you're going to go in this little... Uh, basket way thing and then just carry each egg up hitting escape after you click and you only have to do two eggs you don't have to do all three so just two and then when you come back you don't have to do the eggs at all next enter the left room we don't enter the right room unless you want to see some crazy stuff just enter the left room um okay and i got kitchen glitch i'll explain that in a sec so i'm back <laughs> what kitchen glitch is basically if you're already in the kitchen say i'm in the kitchen i have a failed run and I restart the game by loading up my previous save. When you come back to the kitchen, it's going to be pitch silent. You're not going to hear the music that you're hearing right now. And you're not going to be able to give the fridge any items or leave the room. You just kind of soft lock, basically. So, say you have, a, you have a run that made it to kitchen, but then you lost it farther down the line. Hit F5 and return to launcher and then reopen the game. That can make, you, um, make it so that your next run won't have kitchen glitch. Um, just be mindful of that. So what you want to do when you enter the kitchen is give the carrot to the fridge, then spam escape. Uh, it can it kind of varies on how long it takes to work. Sometimes it's like point sec, point one second. Sometimes it's a whole second. It's very inconsistent. Um, it's kind of frustrating too. It happens um, later on in the run at the waterfall too. Anyway, after you give him the carrot, make sure to hit this green arrow. If you don't hit the green arrow, you're gonna lose a lot of time. So make sure to hit the green arrow. Then go up the stairs to the brain tickler. This is really interesting part of the run. Uh, most people go right from right to left because this is the number that you memorize and you want to get rid of that as soon as possible. Um, but feel free to go whatever order you want. I'm just saying the most optimal is right to left. Land of Darkness is the number that we had in the boiler room. So since I had a, um, I had to reload my game because of um, kitchen glitch, I got a different number, which was 507. But the one I just had was an 844. So. You would do 844 if you had that number, or you do whatever number you got. Art is Leonardo da Vinci. These are all predetermined with this save file. These last two can be random. Actually, these three can be random, but art is always Leonardo da Vinci. Computer science, you can do whatever answer you want, which is nice. Um, anatomy is going to be neck bone. So that varies. Some of them, like if you get superheroes, all of them are Pajama Sam. If you get all of them, like... Um, that don't matter. Doesn't matter which answers you have. That, those usually save time because you don't have to react as fast. Anyway, once you have all the answers completed, um, you can go ahead and enter the uh, brain tickler doors. Also on speedrun.com, I'll have a link to the page in the description. Um, J2 has a page of all the brain tickler answers. You don't have to memorize them; they'll just come naturally as you play. But that's there if you guys need help. So enter the brain tickler. Grab this gold doorknob. Make sure to grab it if you don't. You're dead, <laughs> so make sure to grab it. Um, it's right here. Then go down this hallway. Clock's not here, remember, because um, we have a good save file. Then go down this door in the background, and whatever color book this is is what you're going to use on the wall. So, for instance, I got green books. It's the worst RNG you can get. The best is um, red books, in my opinion, because it has a nice pattern. And blue books is also good. Yellow is kind of weird, but it still works. Green is the worst you can get because there's four of them. Anyway, green books, 
Whoa. Um, just hit all the green books, and then the wall will turn. Enter it, and as you can see when we're entering, there's like a magnet. So, the goal is to get on the other side of that. Go down these stairs, don't enter this bright orange room, enter this room up here. And you know that elevator that we brought down earlier? Make sure to get inside it first, and then hit the green arrow to bring us back up. Then go back to where we were, so we can grab that magnet, right? So now we have to recap our items. The magnet, the doorknob, the mask, and the oil can. If you don't have all these four items, you miss something, so make sure to get them. So now we're going to go back the way we came, through Darkness's house, and then we're going to go through the boat docks. Take a left, back to the shack, and just give, give a, the shack the doorknob. And since the door's already oiled, we don't need to oil it, so just give it the doorknob, then hit this barrel, and what that'll do is play an animation where Sam grabs the flashlight. So, we got the flashlight now. Now we have two of the three items we need. Go in the boat and go down the waterfall and mash escape. So, that's similar to the fridge when you give him the carrot. It can vary on how long it takes you to actually get to the bottom of the waterfall. Just a heads up. Next, grab the magnet and hit the lunchbox. Hey, so, now we have all the items. Make sure when you hit the magnet, or when you hit the lunchbox, you're above the item. You don't want to be like right here or it'll cancel it. I've had that happen a few times. The lunchbox is right here, and the mask is right here, so just make sure you're above the mask, alright? Once we have that, go left and go up the stream, and we'll be entered through the right side of it. So then go back to Darkness's house, and we're nearing the end of the run. Go up here, up here, and make sure to, um, this is Sam's room, just like a dark version. Grab the key, and timing ends on the click of the door. Here comes Pajama Sam. Here comes Pajama Sam. So, now that we've done that, I'm going to do a full playthrough real quick, a full run through. Make sure when you finish runs or have a run fail to return to launcher and to reopen the game to avoid kitchen glitch. Alright, so, now I'm going to do a full run through. It's not going to be extraordinarily fast. I'm going to be giving tips along the way just to remind you. So, load up your files. Timing starts on the first click. Make sure to grab all your items that you need. Rope, trade it out for the wooden board. Give it, put it, oh, that happens a lot. Put your wood right here. Go up, up. Grab the carrot, go back. Oil, oil the door. You see the item comes up right away, so that's, that's the new thing that was found. Then oil auto. That's Chang, actually, my bad. Oil Chang. Seven, or three, seven, eight. Remember that number. Of course, your number will be different every single time, so... Remember that. They're all predetermined, but they are different for each yeah, one. Seven, three, seven, eight. Plants, lion's tooth, computer science is anything, and anatomy is neck bone. Instruments is also the drum if you get that one. Grab the doorknob, go down. We got green books again, which is unfortunate. Go down, and then remember to ride the elevator up, hit the arrow, go back, grab the magnet, leave Darkness's house. Go back to the shack, get the doorknob, hit the barrel, go down the waterfall. We got a faster waterfall that time. Make sure not to hit the mask. Go up the stream. And into Darkness's room, and time. Alright, hopefully you guys figured something out. I remember when I started, it was a little intimidating, because I didn't know what was going on. So I hope I could explain something good for you guys. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh tutorial of the speedrun. I recommend trying out a few runs and submitting them to the boards. Who knows, you could be the next sub one minute, you know? This game's pretty optimized now. I might do a uh, speedrun tutorial for the next games, including um, Pajama Sam 2 and Pajama Sam 3. No one plays 4, so um, we're gonna let that one not be remembered. Anyway, thank you for watching. Leave a like on the video. Share it if you have anyone that is interested in speedrunning. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have an awesome day, guys.